We want faster internet speed, we want faster Wi-Fi, we want no dead spot, and a system that's easy to set up that anyone can actually do it. Is that too much to ask for? So when today's sponsor TP-Link offered me to test their Deco X20 Wi-Fi mesh system, they were super confident they would tick all the right boxes and deliver even more. Well, you know me and I wanna see it to believe it. So whilst waiting for the package to arrive, I did a little bit of Googling, a little bit of research and found the reason for their confidence. Turns out that TP-Link has won the JD Power Wireless Router Satisfaction Report Award in 2017, 2019 and 2020 for the highest score in customer satisfaction with wireless routers. Now this is serious as this report actually measures satisfaction with wireless routers across these 10 factors. So the fact that TP-Link won so many times may be the reason for their confidence. Okay, so I get super excited on the fact that this is a Wi-Fi 6 system. For me, this is non-negotiable. Now, you may be asking why, since most of our devices today are still Wi-Fi 5, and I suppose that's a fair question. So firstly, it's important to note that Wi-Fi 6 is actually backwards compatible, so all our current Wi-Fi 5 devices and even 2.4 gigahertz devices still absolutely work. Secondly, if we want that nice fast internet speed, we need to have better control of our home's Wi-Fi network. In the olden days, Wi-Fi 5 was superb when we had a couple of cell phones, a tablet and the family computer. Those days are long gone. Today we're bringing to our home so many smart devices, everything from doorbells to garage openers to smart speakers, gaming consoles, smart lights, and of course smart TVs and many more. All these devices are constantly fighting for our Wi-Fi bandwidth and the poor Wi-Fi 5 simply cannot keep up as it tries to service each and every device. Wi-Fi 6 AX1800 is specifically built to handle our ever-growing number of devices in our homes. In fact, the Deco X20 can handle up to 150 devices. It does this because it can intelligently route all the Wi-Fi data around any traffic congestion so that if you're streaming movies in the lounge, you're not interrupted by someone gaming while somebody else is making a video call. Wi-Fi 6 has something called OFDMA, Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, which means that it's able to handle multiple devices requesting data at once and smartly send and receive the data in the most efficient way. Okay, in less geeky terms, think of Wi-Fi 5 as a courier company that sends one truck to one person's house to pick up and deliver the packages and then drive all the way back to the office before heading out again to the next person's house. We can admit that's highly inefficient. Wi-Fi 6 is like a courier company that finds the optimal route to pick up and deliver everybody's packages. Now that is efficient and Wi-Fi 6 is all about optimizing your network for that efficiency and speed. And of course the result of all this amazing management is that you get nice fast internet speed. I have the Deco X3 pack version, which means it can cover 5,800 square feet, kind of a four to six bedroom style house. Now my home isn't that big, so technically I should be getting sweet Wi-Fi speed everywhere in my home. Obviously coverage is dependent on the home's layout, like material interference, but that is where mesh absolutely shines. You see, each one of these Deco nodes are a self-contained routers. These are not Wi-Fi extenders that simply create a new Wi-Fi name that you constantly have to connect and disconnect from as you move around the home. Because there are four routers, they are powerful and intelligent enough to work with the other nodes and together blanket the whole house with Wi-Fi signals. Again, all good in theory, and the proof is in the pudding, so let's go make some pudding. Okay, let's start off with a baseline test. That's the router from my ISP. On the left-hand side, Wi-Fi 6. On the right, Wi-Fi 5 device. I'm going to run a speed test independently, not at the same time, of course, to get some readings. Then I'm heading over to the middle of the house, and I'm going to rerun another speed test to get some more readings, and then head off outside to do exactly the same thing at the furthest point away from the router. What is the speed test going to be like? I will summarize everything at the end. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now let's go set up the Deco X20, let's go plug it in and let's use the app because the app is supposed to make it super simple, simply follow the prompts and you can even manage your entire network when you're outside of the home and use something like Alexa to turn on the Wi-Fi guest network. You will see on the back of it, it's got two gigabit ethernet ports. All you're gonna do is connect the LAN cable from the modem 
to this port. And because of this kind of setup, it means that regardless of which service provider you currently have, this system will work with it if your plan is up to one gigabits per second. Right, let's fire up the Deco app on your phone. Click on let's begin and then let's select the X20. That's the device we're currently setting up. And all we're gonna do is simply follow the beautiful prompts as you go through. Turn off the modem, plug in your device. Once that's done, check that the modem has the green lights, then click on next. Then look for the pulsating blue under the deco, which means it's ready to be set up. Click on that, and that's gonna start discovering it. And there it is, it's just found my deco one that's connected to my ISP router. And now it's gonna say, hey, where does this thing live? I'm gonna choose the office. And then the next step is basically detecting the internet connection. Typically, I leave it exactly by default, unless you have a reason to change it, the default is perfectly fine. We click on next, and the final step here is simply to give my Wi-Fi a name. This is the first device, so therefore we have to set the Wi-Fi name. I'm gonna call it Deco Mesh, so you know it's completely separate to my existing Wi-Fi network. So when we run the test, we're running against the right name. Pretty much, that's done. Oh, and here's the cool bit. The only thing you need to do is simply power up the other Deco nodes. The Deco X20 mesh network will take care of absolutely everything else and automatically set it up without you having to do anything. And remember how I said each one of these Deco nodes is in fact a powerful router by itself and not just a glorified extender? Well, because it's got two ports here, it means that you can actually run a LAN cable between these nodes and get the best speed. In my home, I definitely cannot run LAN cables all over the place, so I'm just gonna use the good old-fashioned Wi-Fi. Right, to add additional nodes onto the network, simply click on the plus, click on decodes, then select the X20 from the list, and check out, this is actually pretty cool. If you've got a one floor house or a two story house or a three story house, well, it will actually tell you where you should place your nodes to get the optimal connectivity. And what is this? This looks familiar. It's simply looking for that blue light. It's found the device, it's adding it. You select the location and then rinse and repeat to add the next one. The only difference with now, you don't have to select the network name because one already exists. Now that all the deco nodes are set up, let's repeat the test. Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 5 device, all in exactly the same location. Let's run a speed test again, close to the router. Head over to the middle of the house and we're gonna rerun the same test again. Again, speed test run independently. And then to the most furthest point, and we're gonna rerun another speed test. Now, this is where it all happens. Is the deco X20 gonna make any difference whatsoever? Here you can see all the results of the before. Test, close, middle, and far and now the Deco X20 Wi-Fi 6 mesh system you can see the results wherever your eye lands wherever you look in each and every category the download the upload close middle and far Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5 the Deco X20 clearly makes a huge difference this is why I love these kind of tests I don't know what is going to happen and look at this now a proof is in the pudding Okay, you gotta admit that's super impressive and that is before we even start playing with the settings in the app. In fact, let's check this out now. Right, let's fire up the app, click on more and there's a bunch of settings you need to know about. Number one is click on the Wi-Fi. This is where you can make changes to the Wi-Fi itself. So super easy, anybody can do it. But check this out, network optimization. How smart is this? It scans the network, finds things that can be optimized and then does them, like changing the various channels that he can communicate on. Under the advanced mode, if you wanna geek out on various things like port forwarding and DNS, etc., it's all in here. What you wanna do is click on home care and you absolutely wanna go ahead and enable the antivirus. This is regardless if you have antivirus on the various devices. Most of us actually don't have antivirus on our cell phones and tablets, especially on our smart TVs. So being able to enable all of these filters will just offer you another layer of protection so you know that your system is nice and safe. And speaking of being nice and safe, check out the parental controls. You can go ahead and create profiles. I'm gonna do one for my kids. And it comes with these pre-built-in filters, which of course you can customize. Now, based on the children's ages, it will allow or not allow certain things. And as I said, you can customize this for your own environment. Now you can set it when it applies, whether during the day, weeknight, school night, bedtime, etc. It's all right there at your fingertips. 
Right, next up, let's look at QoS, quality of service, and you can go and set high priority devices. So you can make sure that those devices will always get the best connectivity. You can also set the network priority and say, okay, my network does standard stuff, or is a lot of gaming, or they do a lot of streaming, or I can create a custom profile. So for example, on my network, I don't game a lot, so I'm gonna make that low priority. However, I do stream a lot. So let's go ahead and then give streaming higher priority. What about surfing? Uh, leave that as normal, chatting, downloading. Again, you can customize all this to give yourself the best optimal performance and everything is so easy to do, anybody can do it. There is a link in the description below where you can order the TP-Link Deco X20 from Amazon and choose to have it shipped to your Amazon locker near you. It will be nice and safe until you're able to collect it. And whilst you wait for your Deco X20 to arrive, check out this video over here where I show you how you can improve your Windows performance or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe if this is your first time here and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.